Hi, welcome back to Make Cool Stuff. Today's video is going to be about how to make a $50 outboard motor test tank. An outboard motor test tank allows you to test the engine under load in your backyard prior to getting the thing all the way out to the lake with, with your buddies to find out that your engine doesn't work and that your fishing weekend is a big disaster. So anyway, before we get going, I would ask you to please like and subscribe to the video. In particular, I would really appreciate the subscriptions. It will help me out for making future videos and to help to build the channel. So this outboard motor test tank is, is I think you can do it for about $50. That would uh, be about $25 for a sheet of, of a half inch uh, spruce, spruce sheathing plywood. Uh, some assorted pieces of lumber. I like to just buy like a, a, a two by 10 or a two by 12 and just rip it to the, the size I need. In this case, um, the sides are joined with, and, and the bottom for that matter, are joined uh, together with one and a half by one and a half uh, strips of spruce lumber. Uh, you will screw and glue everything together and using a, a decent waterproof polyurethane uh, uh, adhesive. Uh, I like to use that Gorilla Glue stuff. It works good. Um, it, it's kind of messy, sticky stuff to deal with, but anyway, it does do a good job. Uh, and after you've got the whole thing screwed and glued together, uh, go over all the seams inter internally on the inside of the box with a reasonable quality uh, exterior silicone caulking available from Home Depot. The kind of stuff you use for sealing up windows and doors and, and that kind of stuff. Just make sure it's exterior quality and that'll be good enough for this kind of thing. I mean, the thing is with a test tank, if it leaks a little bit, it's not really a big deal. As long as it doesn't, you know, leak so much that it's getting in the way of... of, of testing your engine and you're having to continually add water. In the case of mine, it leaked a little bit when I put the water into it. The, the, the plywood swells up and then that's it. Leaks are gone. It's been sitting there for several days now with the water in it. Very, very little leakage at all. So haven't had to add any water. Anyway, let's get going. So here I am bringing the outboard motor to clamp down onto the test tank. Uh, tightening up the screws onto the test tank. You can see that there's plenty of room to be able to tilt the engine back. Uh, that's important. Um, if you if you have a long shaft engine, maybe you'll want to ex make your, your test tank a little bit longer. Uh, this was certainly adequate for everything I had in my garage, and I've got outboard motors going up to 25 horsepower. So you know, any, if it's big enough that I can carry it out here and it's got a short shaft, it'll, it'll fit in this test tank and should work okay. So, but something to work, keep in mind if you, is to check that, that it, the size will work for your, your particular outboard motor. Just connect up the gas, pull starting, there she goes. There's the lid, the lid I made. Now that lid, in, in, keep in mind that lid was not part of my half inch sheet of plywood. That was some scrap 3 8 inch that I had left over and I just uh, attached some uh, spruce lumber just to stiffen the lid and to also add some weight and keep it from bouncing around on the test tank. Uh, the hole that you cut out in the lid for the, the engine to fit in is something you'll need to be checked. Uh, I didn't give any dimensions for that because you'll need to check it to make sure it fits your particular outboard motor. So leave that till the end. Uh, uh, you, you don't want to cut it too tight, obviously, either. And if, if you have in mind several different outboard motors, make the make the size of the hole for the, the biggest motor you intend to use in the test tank. So anyway, uh, that was a, su a successful running of the engine. Uh, here's another shot of that lid. You can see very little water splashed out of the test tank while it was running. That was uh, under full power for that, that little 7.5 horsepower motor. Uh, here's another uh, shot of the, of the engine. This would be without the lid. Of course, you don't need, need to include the lid if you don't want to. You can see the water staying in the tank, so you know, save some money. It works just fine. Yes, I've included a, a sketch here of, of the dimensions. Uh, that's that's a four by eight sheet of plywood there. Uh, you can go ahead and cut out the, the front back and, and the two side pieces as per that diagram there. The bottom, uh, although it's 18 inches wide, you're gonna want to cut to suit the length of it once you've got your, 
your front, back, and sides all screwed together just to make sure you you know you don't have to you don't overcut or undercut that piece, and then the rest of it's just scrap. So anyway, thanks again for watching.